Good morning, good afternoon, uh, good evening, wherever you happen to be. I'm glad you made it. And those uh, are watching the recording, welcome to you too. Uh, the only difference is that if you're here today, we're going to have a private meeting and you'll get a certificate if you stay to the very end. In addition, uh, you'll be able to unmute yourself um, after I go through the presentation and we'll go through some screen sharing and one-on-one -on -one questions. And I think that's the benefit of attending. So if you're here, you're going to get a lot of benefits and um, I'm glad you made it. So once again, welcome wherever you're coming from. And I see we've got the United States. Uh, we've got North America, South America. And any other country? Let me uh, check and see uh, who's uh, here today. Right. So I think we've got, I don't know where you're from exactly. So if you could add in the chat, that would be great. All right. So here we go. Right. So a little bit about me for those who don't know me and those who know me, the only change is the fact that the university's name has changed to the University of Thrace, but it's the same Moodle course. And I think it's really amazing if you've never taught fully online and you've taken fully online courses, you get the idea. But to um, teach online and to not be able to see the students at all from beginning to end when it's a degree course, such as a master's of science course, uh, the engagement is amazing and a lot of things, uh, good things happen. I want to start with perfection. And um, I asked ChatGPT to give me an image depicting perfection. And it took a while, but um, that's what um, it came up with. Uh, this image. And the reason I asked for an image on perfection is the course is not based on perfection. The course is based on video recordings of your experience in real time. Your time is the real time. And that's authentic learning where you share your exploration, reflections on your exploration, your discoveries through the video tutorials. So there is nothing perfect about it because things happen and you may see things that you had not seen before and you may miss things, but that's the idea behind peer learning where everyone's sharing their videos. And so we can learn from one another because we see different things. So remember, it's not about perfection. If you want to perfect your video later on, that's fine. But that's not the purpose of the screen sharing videos. So what are we going to do in week three? In week three, you'll be focusing on grades and reports. It's going to be um, quite fast to go through the grades, the grading system and the reports. You'll uh, be working in addition to the grades and reports on your courses, on the activities, resources, blocks, the course completion, digital badges, and certificates in your courses, the courses that you created on blended online learning. And notice that these courses are Moodle 4.4, and that's a huge difference from the other uh, Moodle versions, even Moodle 4.3. There are many, many uh, differences. And we'll be looking at one of them uh, today. You'll be exploring and notice exploring, so no perfection, exploring the grades site administration and uh, the reports administration. There's not much there. Uh, not as in the other administrations. You'll create a video tutorial as before uh, using one of the screen recorders that you used. Remember, do not uh, add or disclose email emails uh, because uh, YouTube now has a policy to remove the video. 
Now, they're not going to let you know in advance, but they're just going to remove, remove it and let you know that they removed it. That's it. So if you don't want to get removed from YouTube, please uh, blur the um, emails. And if you don't know how to blur and you don't have an editor that allows you to blur, then just don't share the uh, emails. That's the only way to do it. You'll be completing your course as much as you can. You continue working on it later on, but do as much as you can uh, in week three. You'll be focusing on resources. And notice there are quite a few resources that are different. They look different. The icons are different. The activities also have different icons from previous um, Moodle versions. You'll create a digital badges course, you'll set up the course completion and a certificate of completion, not using uh, simple certificates, but using whatever is available in the core and Moodle core. I want to remind you that uh, do not add enable timing on your activities. Please do not, because we get email notifications. Um, and I'll show you what I keep getting from someone's course. So you do not enable uh, the opening of an activity. In this case, it's a quiz. And you not enable when the quiz closes. You can enable for the quizzes time limits. That's fine. But no reminders, please. This is what I keep getting from a course that I'm enrolled in as a participant. It happens to be, um, notice here, a forum activity. So this is what I get in my email. I can click and go there and then do it. But you don't only get this uh, once a week. You get it a couple of times a day. Uh, and these are Moodle reminders. So don't set them up, please, for our sake. I also want to remind you to please use the support forms in our Moodle course or on blended online learning and do not use the messaging system because they're limited, first of all, and they're annoying. It's a lot better to communicate through the support forms. And if you've set up preferences for the notifications, you do not need to get any email notifications. You can see everything on the site at the top next to your profile. You can see it on the web or you can get notified uh, in your email inbox, but you don't need to. You can subscribe and get everything on the web in the course. And please use the support form. I know that one of you has used it. Feel free to ask questions here because they're closer. Uh, instead of going into the other course. So while you're working on blended online learning as the manager, it's a lot more convenient to add your questions here as they relate to your experiences. And every question is really, really important. Don't think, oh, she probably mentioned that, or that's, that's a stupid question. Every question is brilliant and very, very important, not only to you, to me, but also to the other participants, because we are learning from one another. So this is what the course, the support course looks like. I also want to remind you to check in our course, to check uh, so that at the end of the course, everything will be baby blue with the green ticks. So keep checking to see if um, you've done the work and what still needs to be done in the block on the right. Uh, if uh, you've done the work and it hasn't been checked, please use the permalink and let me know in the support forms. Embed everything that you can. Um, these are some of the screen recorders. Which one, by the way, are you using? If you could add that in the chat. And are you happy with it? Perhaps you're not. Oh, we've got New Guinea too. I knew there was a country that I didn't remember. Thank you for that. <laughs> so 
screen capture. Great, Mary Lee. How are they limited in duration? Do you have five, 10, or 15 minutes for videos? Can you edit or not? So these are important questions for you because with the um, with new policy on YouTube and the fact that you have to um, remove or blur emails or not use emails because it goes against their policies, you may need to edit your videos and simply uh, blur the uh, images. Okay, so that's a good thing because you may need to use emails and if you can avoid that, that will be great. Okay, great. So you're, Andrea, which one are you using? I didn't notice. Oh, you're using ScreenPal. Yeah, ScreenPal has an editing feature and I believe it's 15 minutes. So that's for free, oh, which is great. The other ones, I'm not sure. I'm not sure about video or uh, Loom. I'm not sure. Loom, I think, is 10 minutes, right? If I'm not mistaken. I hope it's not five. But uh, yeah, ch check it out. Make sure that it also has an editing feature. Most of them do for free, but I don't know. Uh, also use a curation board to add your work, whatever you've been doing, so that you can uh, have it later on when you're finished. And again, the permalink. Share that when you want me to look at an activity or something that you've done or in general. Everything on Moodle, by the way, you can find whatever you click on in Moodle, whatever you create, you will find a link in the browser window and you can share that with people. I mentioned unsubscribe. Images. Now, I want you to notice the difference between adding images in our course on integrating technology and adding images in Moodle 4.4. It's not the same. So, Please pay attention to that. I think it's a lot better. They, they've made a lot of improvements. Try it out and see what you think of it. And if you're going to add a link, of course, make sure that you open in a new window and connect your backpack. You need to create a uh, an account, but make sure that when you create an account that you create it by email not by clicking on a service such as uh, Gmail, Facebook, Microsoft, or Yahoo, but make sure that you create. Now, if you already have an account on Badger, make sure that you also have uh, a way to log in using your email and a password. Otherwise, you won't be able to connect your backpack. And also connect to Badger, dot com and not io it's now canvas canvas apparently has uh, taken over again i'm going to mention this to add your full name if you've got a few names that's fine uh, you can add a few in your first name and then a few in your last name you can get them all in there you can also do it in another language if that works for you you may have to do it under your gmail or Facebook, Yahoo, or Microsoft, and not on the site because uh, that's where you joined from. Okay, these are the uh, badges that you'll be getting. Now, notice the certificate. A lot of uh, European uh, schools and organizations want the hours added, and there's some other countries around the world that want the hours for professional development. Otherwise, they don't um, count them. And notice there's Moodle version 4.4 so that your school or organization knows that you uh, practiced on a Moodle version, the latest Moodle version, actually. And of course, the date is there as well. Right. So thank you for watching. Now we're going to have our private meeting. So.